children using banknotes to cover a kite, speaks to the economic turmoil that Germany faced during the hyperinflation of the early 1920s. At that time, the devaluation of the German mark led to a situation where paper money became virtually worthless. In 1936, a drought refugee from Polk, Missouri, eagerly awaited the orange picking season in Porterville, California, reflecting the hardships faced during the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression. French schoolchildren in Champagne, which was under German occupation during the First World War, were studying the German language, circa 1917. Amidst the backdrop of war, a German soldier, a Soviet soldier, and a Finnish soldier found common ground in their shared passion for photography in Finland, 1941. A photographer named Leon Gimpel formed a connection with a group of children hailing from the Granata Street neighborhood in Paris who had organized their own army circa 1915. MGM actress Lillian Bond was captured holding an armful of fireworks in preparation for a 4th of July celebration in Hollywood, California in year 1930. The 1980 Moscow Summer Olympics were a significant international sporting event, but they were marked by political controversies, including the boycott by several Western countries in protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan. A Japanese father and child were injured during the Battle of Saipan. The Battle of Saipan was a crucial conflict in the Pacific theater of World War II, taken on 1944. Snapshot of the evolving role of computers in education during the late 1960s. The use of an IBM 1130 computer to teach Fortran, a prominent programming language at the time, reflects the growing importance of computer literacy and technology in the curriculum, even in secondary schools. Barry, who resided in the monastery from 1800 to 1812, heroically rescued over 40 individuals. In 1815, Barry's preserved body was placed on display at the Natural History Museum in Bern, Switzerland, where it remains to this day. Buster Keaton, a renowned actor and filmmaker, was captured making New Year's resolutions in 1929. Hollywood starlet Myrna Dell, associated with RKO Radio, epitomized the image of the American girl at a traditional Independence Day celebration. No 4th of July is considered complete without a picnic, and Myrna Dell embodied this festive spirit circa 1948. Around 1900, Café Bauer on Unter den Linden in Berlin was a prominent hub for intellectual and social gatherings, reflecting the vibrant cultural scene in the city during that era. In southern England, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, future U.S. President, inspected an infantry unit and was photographed hip-firing a Browning M. 1919 machine gun. In 1972, a computer class reflects the era's changing landscape of computer education. In 1910, a young girl was photographed with her cherished collection of dolls, reflecting the enduring tradition of these beloved toys as symbols of childhood play and imagination. Lucy Smith and Pauline Rankin from the Ladies' Scottish Climbing Club is a testament to the pioneering spirit of female climbers and outdoor enthusiasts. Their presence at Salisbury Crags a popular climbing location, highlights the growing involvement of women in outdoor activities and sports during the early 20th century. 
In preparation for the July 4, 1932 Independence Day celebration, American actress Gloria Shea rehearsed in New York. Her involvement adds a touch of theatricality and emphasizes the role of culture and art in national celebrations. Photographer Yusuf Kash created an iconic portrait of French general and future President Charles de Gaulle, symbolizing his leadership, determination, and the pivotal role he played in World War II and France's history, year 1944. Queen Victoria of Great Britain and Ireland was photographed in the Garden Cottage in Balmoral, England, alongside Abdul Karim, the Munshi, and her collie Noble in 1894. A radio operator was photographed as part of a search and rescue mission to locate a National Airways Corporation DC-3 that had crashed in New Zealand's Kaimai Range, circa 1963. Rebecca, Charlie and Rosa, enslaved children from New Orleans, Louisiana, were classified as black under the one-drop rule, reflecting the racial classifications and social norms of the time and the complex history of race and identity during American slavery in 1863. Tenzing Norgay, a Sherpa from Nepal, and Sir Edmund Hillary, a New Zealander, became the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, in year 1953. During the Second World War, two young resistance fighters served in Josip Tito's partisan army. The girl on the left, 15-year-old Fana Kokovska, holds the distinction of being the youngest recipient of Yugoslavia's Order of the National Hero in 1943. The Tuskegee Airmen, a group of African-American pilots and support personnel who served during World War II, were photographed attending a briefing in Ramatelli, Italy, year 1945. In the early 1900s, the photograph captures Tsar Nicholas II of Russia on horseback, symbolizing the final years of the Romanov dynasty and the turbulent era in Russian history that would lead to its downfall. A Palestinian woman was captured in Jerusalem, smoking a pipe, circa 1918. Around 1890 to 1900, this photograph showcases Glasgow Bridge in Glasgow, Scotland, capturing a glimpse of the urban landscape during that time. On May 17, 1962, General David M. Shoup of the United States Marine Corps was seen during his visit to the Ministry of Defence in London, England. General Douglas MacArthur was a prominent and highly decorated military figure who played key roles in both World War II and the Korean War. In his later years, he remained a respected figure but also experienced a decline in his health, as reflected in the reference to him fading away in retirement. This photograph captures a moment in the twilight of his career and life, photograph captured in 1963. That concludes our journey into the past. We hope you found it informative and entertaining. Until next time, safe travels.